Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. Today we're going to be checking out a 118th scale uh, green light ATM van. This is the weathered version. Uh, I have the regular version, uh, but this one is the weathered one. So we're going to, uh, which just recently came out. So we're going to check that out, uh, unbox it and take a look at it uh, in close detail. And I do have uh, the first release the uh i guess you'd call it shiny version or mint version uh and we can do like a side by side comparison so first i'll show you uh just some of the box art you can see right here it says weathered version on the box it's got uh it's very dusty and dirty it's got some mud and some bullet holes and stuff on it One eighteenth scale limited edition not exactly sure how many were made uh i know this isn't these aren't very cheap uh but i mean 118th scale die cast i guess isn't anymore uh back in the day you used to be able to get a 118th scale die cast for like 20 bucks but this one cost uh cost me more than 50 bucks so uh, I'm not sure if just like green lights are expensive. I know there's some other brands that are quite a bit more expensive than that even uh, But just uh, if you have an just wanted to give you an idea of what you might be paying if you wanted to get one of these uh, I think like $60 or so Or maybe more is like the shelf price average shelf price you might pay for this so just some of the uh, box art before we go ahead and open it, I'll give you a shot of the bottom. Not too much exciting stuff on the bottom. Uh, just uh, the website and some uh, copyright info and stuff like that. Made in China. Limited edition. Uh, it has a GMC foiled foil like sticker on the bottom but it doesn't really say how many were made but uh we're gonna open it up and uh check it out in detail let me just get my uh little knife here i'll just cut the tape on the box uh i think i probably only need to cut open one side i'm not sure if there's tape on the bottom yeah there is So let me just try to get this out of the box. So here's what the packaging looks like. There's like a little uh, plastic end with a little piece of like uh, uh, clear plastic in between kind of a buffer zone maybe so it doesn't rub uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be wired in in the bottom or not let me just set the box aside looks like it's got uh, some little form shaped plastic pieces where it just kind of fits in it like a cradle take that off if you can it even has like a texture to it almost like it's uh it feels dusty almost which is interesting it's just like uh it's almost like they took the paint job and then they like sanded it or something to make it rough uh, so it actually does feel like dusty or dirty, which is weird. Uh, let me just uh, get rid of some of these pans. Hopefully I can do it without scratching it. Uh, some of these doors do open. That's why it has the bands on it. All right, you can see uh, the wheels are like muddy. They have like some mud coloration on them. 
and dirt. So there's like kind of a brownish orange tint in areas like here on the door and here on the rear quarter. It's kind of like brownish um, and it looks very dusty. You can see there's uh, multiple bullet holes uh, inside. Let's take a look at the front. You can see uh, what's kind of cool is the windshield you can see is dirty and uh, it might be hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom in. But uh, on the windshield, it kind of has uh, some muddy uh, brown areas as if the windshield was splashed with, with mud and then the windshield wipers were run because it's dirtier. Uh, with mud on the top of the windshield, so it's almost like the it was the windshield was covered in mud, and then they turned the wipers on. So uh, there's some like dirt and mud on the hood on the passenger side, and you can see uh, the front looks very dusty and dirty. Now the original. Give you a shot of the top. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Give you a shot of the top. It's got a uh, sunroof or moonroof in it. It's got the classic uh, marker li marker lights or fog lights on top. It's got the the brush bar or the crash bar and all the extra lights. The little sun visor. The custom. Uh, mirror covers although one thing that's kind of weird is this one, all these lights are like dirty and kind of cloudy but this one seems clean so that's kind of weird that one is this one is clean but this one is dirty uh, so but yeah just uh, there's some more bullet holes and some mud on the door <clears throat> muddy wheels mud on the rear quarter so I guess there's mud where you would expect to see it. Uh, more bullet holes on the back. It's got license plate on it. And the license plate is dirty. Uh, the back doors don't open. Just like the original release. Even the taillights are like kind of cloudy. Um, but it's hard to tell. Uh, I think it's black underneath the stripe and silver on top. Like the original. But it's so cloudy, it's really hard to tell. It's almost like it was... It's kind of hard to tell, but... Uh, it does look black underneath and like gray on top, but... It's so faded, you almost can't see the difference in the paint color. So, um, the rear doors don't open, but the front doors do. Hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll try to open these. Hopefully they won't break or anything. It's got a fairly detailed interior. So there's the interior. And you can see how dirty the windshield looks from the inside. There's the uh, steering wheel and the gauges, the dash, the engine cover also known as a doghouse and there's some pedals in there gas pedal brake pedal uh, the inside of the door it's got like an armrest and a window crank and some other inside door features Let's see if I can move it so you can see across see the seats in the other door let me just zoom out so I'll close up this door and then we'll open up this other door this one here uh, this passenger door opens just like the driver's door do. And then 
Uh, let's see. You got this door here. Uh, I guess you could pull on the little handle, but the handle doesn't really do anything. Uh, but you got to be careful not to break that off. This door is not as easy to get open, but the slider does slide open. And uh, let's see if I can get some better light in there. And then I can try to zoom in again on the interior and give you a shot of it. Uh, it's kind of a work area in the back, but the back doors don't open. So you can't really get a good look at what's back there. I think the floor is kind of weird how the seats are sitting like right on the floor. Like there's no pedestal or anything. There's like a little bit of a work area. But it's kind of hard to see. Close this front door. So there's kind of like some machinery back there. Or computers or something. Little command center, I would assume. Uh, but it's really hard to see. And the rear doors don't open. But, uh, pretty cool piece. I mean, it's definitely, it definitely looks realistic. It's definitely very dirty and muddy. Uh, the tires are dirty and muddy. It's got a bunch of bullet holes on all sides uh, compared to the, I'll just slide it back since we've already kind of checked it out in, in detail. And then I'll slide the uh, clean one in its place so you can really see the difference. There's the clean one. I've already done a video on this. So just, uh, but this one has the opening doors, opening side door. Uh, I think the interior is exactly the same. There's really no difference. Uh, and I don't think the interior on the dusty one really looks dirty on the inside. But uh, just these, just the driver and passenger front door open and the slider opens, but the rear doors don't. And the hood doesn't open. Uh, the wheels churn. Um, I'll give you a shot of the bottom. It's fairly detailed. It doesn't I don't think it really the the wheels do steer with the steering wheel just slightly, but I don't think there's any kind of suspension at all. They're just like fixed axles, but it does have a little bit of detail. Uh, the uh, exhaust zoomies, uh, bottom of the engine and transmission, drive shaft, rear axle, and then the wheels. Wheels are rubber. Gas tank. Uh, let's take a look at the. The dirty one and just see if it looks any different on the bottom uh I, not a whole lot it might look slightly dirtier like it's not so clean black but uh i don't think they really did much with the bottom i don't think the bottom is really any different uh it might be slightly uh dusty um uh, but Overall, it doesn't really look that much different. Give you a little shot of the bottom, a little closer up so you can see the print. You can see it says uh, green light made in China. And this one says copyright is 2018. It's probably when the original uh, casting was made. It does have some scratches here though but i think that's supposed to be the exhaust paint so maybe the exhaust just wasn't painted very well and there's a little bit of extra paint there so i think it's just they maybe painted the exhaust pieces a little bit sloppily and then you can see it has a number zero two zero zero two eight five is the number on the sticker here and then it says 1983 gmc vandura used under license so that's the uh, 118th scale weathered 18 van from Greenlight. Uh, so just a quick little video to show it off. Uh, I'm not really sure which one I like better. Obviously, I'm going to probably, uh, if I keep both, I would probably display them side by side so you can really see the difference. 
Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Found it informational. You can find these at your local hobby stores probably. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if the big box stores will have them or not. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys, if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and you can find me on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.